Can you curve an arrow by twisting the string like we saw in the popular Korean movie, War of the Arrow? If you don't know, my name is Alan Odinson. I am a thumb draw archery instructor. And today we're going to be testing to see whether or not by getting that twist on the string, if you can actually curve an arrow. Without a doubt, War of the Arrows is the greatest archery movie ever made. And I've tested several devices on there, such as the Tong Ah Arrow Guide, as well as the Spade Heavy Tipped Arrow that they used. And both of those worked very, very well. But this is one of those scenes where, as an archer, I'm like, I don't know. So for those that aren't familiar with the scene, the hero in there using his bow, as he's drawing back, he's able to curve the arrow by giving the string a twist here. Now when I see that, it looks to me like it's just kind of going to make the arrow do what it already does and, and spin, just kind of give it a head start or just really throw your shot off. But either way, the only way we're really going to know is if we test it. I'm going to be using something around the 45 pound range and we're going to look to try and get that twist on that string to see if we can actually curve that arrow in. A personal opinion, I think this is probably going to be a myth, but we're only going to know if we try. So let's go try. So starting out, we're just gonna try very, very close here and just try to make sure that we don't send an arrow through uh, the side of my shop. So as you can see from our shots here, everything basically is in line, but it just flew to the right tremendously of our intended target, which was the balloon here think that necessarily means that there was a curve in the arrow. I think it just means that twisting the string screws up your shot. But let's shoot a little further and see if we get maybe some different results from say like 15 and 20 yards. So I figured I would try some more here at 10 yards just to see maybe if anything different happened. And as you can see, they're all still going pretty much to the same spot. Try one here at 15, still hitting the same spot. Now we hoot 20, and as usual, we're at the same spot. So what happens if you don't twist the string? Well, if you use correct fundamentals and get a good clean release, you can hit pretty good even at 15 yards and not really taking a whole lot of time to aim. <laughs> so when you're watching the videos, you can see the arrow just... The, the flight on it is extremely erratic when you're using that string twist because it's going to flaw your release every single time that you shoot. And we don't want that. We want the cleanest release we can possibly get when we're shooting with our thumb draw. And that is utilizing good fundamentals, a good solid follow through and getting good clean shots every single time you release the string. If you guys want to know more about thumb draw archery, feel free to watch some of my other videos where I explain how to use thumb draw archery as well as some of my tests on Devices like the Tong Ah from the War of the Arrows. I think you guys will find that pretty interesting. I'll put a link uh, down below in the description. So please check it out. If you'd like to learn more about our bows and what we offer here, you can check it out at odinsonarchery.com. And I'll see you guys next time.